good morning. It's pretty early in the morning. Uh, see the sun's not even up, but I have a lucky task of going to work this early. Got a special uh, inspection I have to do today. Um, but one of the things I saw on my way to um, pick up my work van um, for work, and uh, you know, I kind of just wanted to point it out, especially with. Uh, you know, it's part of one of the things about trying to live a, uh, living minimalism, uh, in an, uh, an aspect, if you're trying to convert a new lifestyle, uh, just that the fact that you will, at some point, have to interact with the police, security, things along those natures, um, first off, you know, I just want to throw this out there, make sure it's clear, Walmarts are no longer safe havens for vehicles and stuff of that nature. It's really, I think, one of the hardest parts that I've, like, kind of learned about trying to do this, at least in city life and from some other uh, fellow YouTubers that uh, that show this, is that, um, I don't know if it's especially with the quarantine going on, but um, it's kind of, it's hard to park your vehicle. It's really hard to try to be... Um, I guess smart about it, you really have to think this part through. Um, so, you know, cops these days, there's nobody on the roads. They gotta make their money somehow. So I just, I feel like it's harassment to a sense, um, especially in the times we live right now. Um, but I was driving by Walmart and um, I mean, I've done this personally and I woke up to a cop knocking on my door Actually, there was like eight in the parking lot when I when it happened to me, and they were all knocking on windows inside Walmart parking lot, telling everybody that they had to leave, running background checks and everything. It was uh, I wasn't allowed to leave until I had my background checked. Um, probably had my tags run, you know, all that good stuff. Um, but needless to say, it, it's just something that's going to happen at some point. Um, you know. If you're somebody that doesn't like authority, you can try to point out all you want, but in the end, we live in a police state these days. I don't know if people recognize that. Um, they Police are not your friends. They are not here to help. Um, you know, there are probably cops up there that try to say that they do the best intentions, and, you know, it's really up to them, but um, on a state-by-state -state basis, but they are, they are ultimately... Um, they have to make money for the city. They have to make money for the government. So uh, any little thing that they can try to get on you these days, they probably will. And that just doesn't go for quarantine living. So you know what I mean? Lights, anything stupid that has to do with your vehicle, any kind of interactions these days um, are going to be over stupid things. Um, or they're going to find new ways of revenue. So, I mean, be aware of that, okay? Um it's just, it's, it's a crazy time to be living, but at least when it comes to minimalism and it comes to uh, this lifestyle, I, I just kind of, when I when I was driving by to grab my coffee, and I drive by a Walmart, it's right next to the, the Walmart, and I I saw this, uh, I saw the sheriff, and he was, uh, he was going, I saw him go to two different cars in the parking lot, shining his fucking flashlight, um, through the windows and I mean at least for this morning um, we just it went from 70 degrees to we're in the teens right now <laughs> so it's uh, I mean I don't know I just for me uh, waking up to something like that and then you know having to get your stuff together and then move and then you also have to think about um, where are you going to go next? Or do you just stay awake, uh, you know, and try to gut it out somewhere else? So, you know what I mean? Take your risk. But it's just it's just one of those things. I just think it's very unfair, um, you know, especially in this lifestyle. Um, 
I think there should be a little more uh, open. I don't know that I necessarily agree with all the closing of, uh, you know, like open spaces, um, you know, camping spots. Um, I would think of anything that would promote isolation. People want to get the hell out of the city and, you know, get away from this shit. Um, so it's... I, I totally disagree with the way city and government is handling that aspect of things. It's just, uh, it's, it's, people want to get away, get away from all this stuff. Um, that, in my sense, is a, a term, a, a type of isolation. Um, so, you know what I mean? And when it comes to living minimalistically, that's kind of what you're doing. And that's kind of the whole point of living off-grid or living, you know, uh, minimalism. So, it's... It's trying not to conform to the social norms um, in society. But what do they do? Like, you know, they're, they're, they're telling you no. Like, I've seen some directives some, for some other videos that they tell you to go into the city, go park at a, uh, uh, a rest area, or no, you need to go gather up somewhere else. It's, they're hurting the cattle. Um, I think I've said this in another video. Something about this whole thing just doesn't feel right. Um, COVID-19. Um, I'm still skeptical. I mean, I hear stories. I have friends that say that they have friends that have, have it or, you know, or have, have passed away from it. Um, I myself, I don't know. I, I'm still 50-50. I know that isn't real clear, but it's just, it's crazy time to be living um i've seen certain things i personally think it's a ploy i think our body can naturally fight this that you know if you're healthy if you're healthy and um i think i think now you have nothing to worry about um i believe there are certain types of underlying sickness that might be more susceptible to this um I know that doesn't sound well for, you know, conditions like, you know, heart disease, lung disease, smoking, um, but I believe the body will naturally fight it, and if this is a real thing, then this is a way for Mother Nature to correct the population, in a sense, um, Kind of, she's kind of sweeping house. I don't know. It's, you know, if you noticed, uh, skies seem to be clearer, less roads, less pollution. This, this is a, this is a weird, you know. Either this was forced because of climate change, or this is Mother Nature's natural response. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Just wanted to touch more on the cop thing. Um, you know, cause that is a, that is something that you will have to deal with living this lifestyle. So always take that into consideration. Take all some aspects. Um, some people will be forced into it. Uh, this kind of lifestyle, some people will want to look into as an option. Just something to think about guys. All right. We'll talk to you later. Next one. Bye.